Hey there, this is Mr. Icarus, and welcome to yet another edition of Mod Madness. This time round, we're checking out a little mod for Quake by the name of Kickflip Quake. This is a mod that gives you the ability to skate in Quake. And yes, you can indeed do kickflips. It also comes replete with 10 levels for you to skate through, each of them accessible through this starting map, but once you actually enter one, getting out again isn't going to be quite as simple. These levels don't seem to have been designed with exits in mind, so if you do feel like flipping between them once you've started in Kickflip Quake, you're going to have to be indulging in a few console commands here and there. The levels, for the most part, within Kickflip Quake are actually quite small, especially in comparison to something like, let's say, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. So if you were expecting something on that scale, then I'm afraid you might be a little disappointed. But at the very least, each environment here does give you enough stuff to play around with, be it ramps, rails, or ground with which you can faceplant yourself into. I think, all in all, a good word to describe the setup here in Kickflip Quake would be basic. And really, that's no surprise considering this is a mod that is almost two decades old. That's right, this was originally released at the turn of the millennium. Some levels here are clearly constructed better than others. This one, for example, has a bit of a screwy ramp that just gets you stuck at the top. Real good if you want to practice them tricks, but the color scheme, good grief the color scheme, this is the kind of brown that I'd advise you go see your doctor about. But while I'm stuck here in Brown Town, I can at least explain to you how the trick system works. This is clearly intended not to be used with mouse because a lot of the way the uh, button combos work is that you have to be pressing spacebar to jump, then you gotta use control in combination with shift, maybe slash and comma sometimes to actually pull off these various grabs and tricks. And no, these, as far as I can tell, are buttons that cannot be rebound. So, I'm living it up while I can. This is pretty much the only opportunity I'll ever have to pull off all of the tricks. It's just a pity I can't land this. Could you imagine the high score combo? Good grief. If you do manage to find a half-pipe ramp that does indeed work, chances are you will just go sailing straight over it, much like I am right here. I can't tell whether that was a feature that was present in the original version, or whether it's a consequence of me using a Quake source port. For those who are wondering, I am using Quake Spasm for this one, but... Also, pro tip, don't land facing backwards. Ranger don't know how to do that. He don't know how to do that. He'll just go flying off and land on his ass, and lose a lot of health, and just... yeah. Yeah, this, this is what happens. This is what happens when you don't skate properly, damn it! This is Quake, not Tony Hawk's. There are consequences. Land a fancy trick, though. That's amazing. And you will be rewarded with the most enthusiastic sounding voice clip I have ever heard. Personally, I think it's high time that someone came along and gave Kickflip Quake a fresh lick of paint, because it's nearly been two decades, damn it. That's plenty of time to add a few little bells and whistles to the whole thing. Like, uh, maybe a bit more of a robust combo and scoring system, because as far as I know, this doesn't really track scoring. I couldn't speak for multiplayer, and multiplayer is a possibility with this, by the way, but yeah, there's no real way to track how well you've been doing in any given map. The maps themselves, there is certainly scope for expansion here. I mean, for starters, you could easily, and I mean easily, link together all of the pre-existing maps here in Kickflip Quake and have them operate as one continuous whole. And after that, the sky is pretty much the limit. I mean, when we're talking about Quake mapping, there have been significant improvements in how maps are put together over the years, especially since the year 2000, and I think mappers would relish the opportunity to create something for a bit more of a, let's say, unorthodox playstyle. At the very least, I'd settle for half-pipe ramps that actually work properly, a trick system that can be reliably rebound. I'm not even sure if you can at the moment, and what's currently bound gives me a hand cramp every time I try to do anything more complicated than the simple kickflip, and it would really be nice if the train went to more than one destination. As it currently stands, it only goes to the final destination. Death. So that's nice. Thanks for that. Oh, and one more thing, the music that's currently playing here is not actually included with Kickflip Quake. These are MIDI versions of tracks such as Superman by Goldfinger and Blood Brothers by Papa Roach, tracks that I used to listen to endlessly when playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Instead, what you actually get are two tracks, one of which might as well not even count because it's some nondescript electronic track that 
barely lasts long enough for you to notice it, and the other one is Hit the Road Jack by Ray Charles. Bit of an odd pick, and one that I can't play, considering, uh, you know, copyright and all that. So yeah, this is one where I'd advise turning off the soundtrack that's included with it and supplementing it with your own. But yeah, just don't go expecting anything that uh, actually plays smoothly. It's pretty wonky. It's pretty awkward to play. It is certainly showing its age nigh on 20 years on. It is, quite frankly, a museum piece. Actually, come to think of it, it literally is a museum piece. You can go see it at the Computer Games Museum in Berlin. There's like text on the wall and everything. I should know, I was there fairly recently. And on that note, if you feel like playing this little slice of Quake modding history, then you'll find the link, as usual, in the description below. While I'm at it, I'd like to give a great big thank you to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so very much for supporting the channel and for helping to make content like this possible. If you're interested in lending a hand yourself, maybe you'd like to see your name in the credits, maybe you'd like to gain early access to my videos before anyone else, well, if that's the case, you'll find the link to my Patreon page also in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know what you thought in the comments and feel free to suggest any mods you'd like to see me cover in future editions of Mod Madness. This has been Mr. Icarus, thank you very much for watching, Icarus out.